There, 18 days of crawling. 18 days of crawling through the hot backcountry dirt. Yes, 18 days of crawling, crawling with his pelvis smashed so hurt. In the early 1900s, he drove down the watercourse, uh, talking to the leatherheads as he's ridden on his way. Two clubbers led two clubbers. Some might call them cart horse, more than 40 miles and further down the river to get his pay. No, mate, he never made it. He got smashed up on the way. The horse is gone. He'd have to show some grit. He woke so injured and alone, but yes, he'd be okay. His memory gone, but not his bloody wit. He crawled through Ligden bushes. Green, every move it brought a groan. Dodge brown snakes and big old mulgers mean. His broken bones were ache and every move would get him home. No pain could stop him moving this string bean. He wriggled on through Ligden bushes where the wild pigs make their nest. He wriggled past the many pigs he'd seen. If he could find it, he ate prickly pear fruit with, with some zest, ate which he grubs, but tucker it was lean. Yes, he struggled as he wriggled on through the prickly pear. He, w he used the old pig's path, a well-worn track. He watched the sun ablaze and then it told him just to wear. He'd have to head if he could make it back. A crow did follow in his wake and arc to call a friend. They gathered as they waited for a feed. Death waited for Joe's life to take. Joe wouldn't let it end. He'd starve, the crows keep going, yes indeed. So he slithered as he concentrated, but no, he didn't err. Though he slept out in the bitter cold and frost. He went right on a moving on through the thorny khaki burr. Crawled to the door at home, he wasn't lost. So they found him and they lodged him in a hospital bed. Now deep in a coma, no surprise. One day he woke up and this is what he said. Crows feed down river there on dead man's eyes. They found the body where, crow, where Joe said the crows had got his eyes. So drowned and washed up bloated awful dead. Those bloody awful crows Joe did, he did despise. They had got themselves another feed instead. Joe returned to the lonely life and drought to ride faster and harder than Brumby's track. Often slept on his saddle, his horse hobbled out with the one that carried his pack. Though he'd often ask, he never found, not a man, neither white or black, who tried the test, yes, down on the ground, 40 miles belly down, a wriggling all the way back, by Don Johnson. Here old Joe White, my great-grandfather, passed the test in 1900. Uh, thank you.